to my channel. If you've been here before, you know that I don't normally film in a kitchen, but I'm very excited for today's video because as you probably saw by the title of this video, we are making Dole Whips. To me, it's a very classic Disney treat. I can't take a trip to Florida without trying one of these, even though I've tried them so many times at this point. So I found a recipe on Pinterest and I'm very excited to try it out. I've been saving it just for this video, which has been really testing my patience because I have been wanting to taste a Dole Whip for so long because it's winter, it's gloomy, and I really just want some Disney magic in my day. Yes, it is snowing outside currently, but it is never too cold for ice cream. So I'm gonna flip the camera here and we're gonna start making some Dole Whips. So for this recipe, you really don't need too many ingredients. All you need is pineapple juice, vanilla ice cream, frozen pineapple, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of lemon juice, and some salt. So first things first, we need two ounces of pineapple juice. Put it in the blender. This is what I bought. It's a really big can, but we're gonna use more of this later. You need a small scoop of vanilla ice cream. I shop at Kroger and look at my little ice cream scoop. Do you see the sprinkles? There's no end to the Disney in my apartment. You shouldn't be surprised by that. Okay, so I'm just gonna scoop a little bit of vanilla ice cream, flap it in, do a little more. Next, the most important part are pineapple. You need about a cup. You could also get a fresh pineapple and freeze it. I didn't do that because that takes a lot of time and I just wanted to make this a quick and easy recipe. So let's make sure I get a full cup here. A little more, little less, not a big deal. I'm hoping because I never made this before. Throw our pineapple in. Oh, I'm missing. Okay. Next, we need a tablespoon of sugar. This is optional, but I really want it to taste just like it does in the parks, and something tells me there's some sugar in that one. It's just a tablespoon. Uh, next, just a splash of lemon juice. I don't have any, so we're just gonna go with some lime juice. We'll see how this tastes. I honestly have no idea. So, just a little bit. I'm sure it's just for the citrus and acidity, so we're gonna go with it. And then a dash of salt to also check out my salt shaker. I have a matching Minnie Mouse pepper shaker, but just a little bit there. Right away. And that's it. That was two minutes. Get it all in your blender. Get it all to come down to the bottom. This is my cousin's blender who I live with, so let's see how easy this is to work. Okay. So I definitely did not have enough liquid in this recipe was not working in my favor. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more pineapple juice in here and probably just a little bit more ice cream. Again, I've never made this, so I wasn't sure how this was gonna turn out. Yes, okay. So that's as simple as it was to make it, but we're not done. So I've had a Dole Whip three different ways in the parks, and so that's what I'm gonna do right now. First way, you can have it just plain, you know. Usually this is a soft serve, but I'm scooping it. Um, a way you can make this more soft serve is by putting it in the freezer and then using a piping bag and making it have that same swirl. I am impatient and too extra, and uh, not extra enough actually. Normally I am, but I'm trying not to taste it because we're gonna do a taste test. So I've got just a little bit of regular. Now, I've got more. Okay, my maraca. So we got our second one. I'm gonna do this, sorry to cut out a frame here. 
We're gonna float style this one. This is my favorite way to get it in the park. Oh, so there we've got our float. Again, I know it's not as pretty as in the park. You can do it pretty like you're in the park, but I'm just so excited to try this that I don't really care how it looks right now. Okay, in the final way that we are doing this, that I've seen it a couple different places, is spiked alcohol. So I bought this really cheap rum from Kroger. It's probably not gonna taste very good, but we're gonna try this with some rum. I had it with rum not too long ago at Disney Springs. I know you can also get it at Animal Kingdom with rum. Um, the float and the regular stuff you can definitely get at the Polynesian and at Magic Kingdom. Um, I think that's, those are the two big places. Um, so, I'm not measuring, should I? Maybe. There's some rum. Do I need to put pineapple juice on top? I didn't look up a recipe for spiked. Well, we'll try it without the pineapple juice and if it's too much, which it probably won't be, we'll fix it. So we got our rum, we've got our float, now we've got our regular. It's like a flight. It's my flight of Dole Whips. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so let me get a spoon. Got a little spoon. We're gonna start with the regular. See how this is. There you go. Get a lift there. I put too much vanilla ice cream in it. It's really, really good. Don't get me wrong, it tastes delicious, but if we're going for a copycat Parks recipe, I put too much ice cream in it. I shouldn't have put that extra little scoop in there. I should have only put the pineapple juice. Okay. I'm gonna give this an eight and a half out of 10, only because it's not perfect. I didn't expect it to be, but I'm still, it's still delicious. I'm still gonna make this again. This is our float. Oh, I spilled! <laughs> it's a sink right in front of me, so it's fine. All right, let's, let's try this. That tastes more like the parks. I think because there's more pineapple in here. Mm, 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 yeah. Yeah, let me just drink it. Mm. Yeah, I like this. I don't even know if the pineapple juice that they put in your cup at the parks, if, I'm burping. I don't know if it's straight up pineapple juice or if it's a concentrate, I don't know. Again, I didn't look that up. I just found a Dole Whip recipe and thought I would modify it to the different kinds of Dole Whips I've had, but it's really good. Mm. Oh my, Adventureland going on because that's where you get it in Magic Kingdom so I'm like oh I gotta wear my Aladdin shirt because you're right by Magic Carpets when you're tasting these all right I'm gonna mix this together for the rum let's try it let's see it's not enough rum I gotta go back for a little more I can't even taste it So this I did get, like I said, I got this at Disney Springs. It was probably $13. It's really expensive, but it was really massive and really messy, which was really complicated because yes, I did get it post COVID. And so we were wearing masks obviously. And to unmask, you have to be stationary and away from people, which is perfectly fine. But it was really hard carrying a really massive float around a, Disney, a busy Disney Springs. So let's see, got it all mixed together here. It's good. Oh, there it is. Yeah. See, it's good. Final thoughts. It's a really good recipe. It tastes really close to Dole Whips. The only thing I think is wrong is the texture. I think the recipe uses the ice cream to create that soft serve texture, but it's not the same. The ice cream in the parks is dairy free. It's vegan. It's still, it's delicious. It's very fruity. That's really the point of it. Um, when I made it, the copycat, you don't have the same freezing ingredients to make it a soft serve, whatever, I don't know, food science, but you use the ice cream to imitate that. So that's why it tastes slightly different, but it's still a really good copycat recipe. Um, between the regular soft serve, the float and the rum, 
I think I would say the regular soft serve is my favorite. I think it tastes the closest to the parks. I don't know what they use for their floats in the parks with the pineapple juice and the rum. I don't know what that mixture is. I'm sure I could have looked, but I was just wanting to kind of on the fly modify it. It's a good snack. It's a good seven o'clock snack after, after a day of work. Um, so if, yeah, if you're looking for something to bring a little Disney magic into your house, this is a fun way to do it. So hopefully you'll go ahead and try this out yourself and um, hopefully this inspires you to make some Dole Whip. Uh, let me know in the comments below your favorite way to have a Dole Whip, whether it's plain, a float with rum, there's even a donut I think that you can get with Dole Whip in it, I've never gotten it, but let me know your favorite way to, to buy a Dole Whip. And if you haven't had Dole Whip yet, let me know which way you think you would prefer, or if you make this yourself, I don't know, just, just give me your thoughts on Dole Whip all the way around. Thank you so, so much for coming back to my channel. The next video I have planned is another taste test, and hopefully you'll come back for that one too, and we're gonna be trying some coffee. Uh, thank you again. I hope you have a great rest of your day, a great weekend, and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone.